Welcome to another video. Today we are testing out Yamato Orochi, Yamatako Orochi, the new monster that came out in the last set, and it's pretty special because you just saw we have a level two and a level one, but somehow through the power of Yu-Gi-Oh, we're making a level ten synchro, and that's because Yamato's Yamatoko's special ability, uh, when he's on the field, you can use him as a level eight, so he can be a level eight tuner. Uh, he also when you make a level 9 or higher monster, gives that monster piercing battle damage, which is pretty cool. Um, if you use him for a level 8 or lower, it gives it 800 additional attack, which doesn't usually happen, but can happen. We are also playing it in the Runic Engine. Runic Engine, very good for Synchro decks, since it gives you a bunch of free bodies you can use to Synchro with. And our opponent is playing some sort of nonsense. Caius the Mega Monarch, discarding with Dark Spirits Mastery. We'll just have to see what opponent can do here. Can they get through our Supreme Sovereign? Now that was not def that was definitely not the most powerful opening hand. We just used two monsters to make a, a level eight, uh, level 10 synchro. Opponent using a lure, drawing more cards, but setting two and setting a monster face down. So let's pop one of those back rows. That's gonna trigger Supreme Sovereign's effect. We're gonna get to banish a card from their graveyard and uh, from the field. Take a look at what got banished randomly. Super Poly, Pandemonium, Archfiend, Lava Golem, Archfiend. So opponent's playing some sort of Archfiend deck. Let's banish. Banishing a Gozen match. Gozen match, uh, very nice to get rid of. Each player can only control one attribute of monsters. Uh, unfortunately, we draw Abyss Megalo. Now, I this caused me to cut Abyss Megalo from the deck because he was just being a brick, you know? Just being a brick right now, but We'll hold out. Draw on another card. We could normal summon this, but better to save it. Hope we draw another water monster. Discard with the Megalo. Let's get attacking. Opponent is activating and adding Archfiend cards to their hand. I've never seen anyone play an Archfiend deck, so this is definitely spicy. Opponent gonna activate another Dark Spirits Mastery. Searching for a Curse Necro Fear. I'm really not sure what the opponent's strategy is here. They're unbanishing cards that we banished to special summon the Curse Necrofear. But how do they get through the Supreme Sovereign? Going into Verte. Oh, Verte is gonna. All right, there you go. They have Super Poly in the deck, so Verte is going to fusion away, using our own monster and make a Blue Dragon of the Swamp. Was not expecting that. All right. Well, let's hope we draw something good here draw into a Freezing Curses. Now that is not good. Not gonna save us here. We could make a level four XE uh, using the level four dog and our Dragoons, but not willing to try that out right now. Although thinking about it, yeah, that wouldn't have been that good because we have to use our normal sun to get Dragoons out. All right, here we go. We draw the Orochi. Now let's, let's give this a shot. Two water monsters, special summon the Megalo. Dragoons is gonna give us a search. Get the Diva. Now Diva can special from the deck, giving us Prince. Prince, obviously not a, an Orochi, but we got one copy of Foil Prince because you can't not run Prince if you're running Deep Sea Diva. Now, if you got an empty board, you can search for your Yamato with the Diva. But we got Lethal here by tributing Prince, giving the Abyss Megalo a second attack. We're gonna make a Herald of the Art Clay to stop any shenanigans from the opponent and get attacking. So you saw Yamato do a little bit there, making a level 10, just using uh, the additional normal summon from the Atlantean Heavy Infantry, but let's see if it works better when we have more runic cards in hand. Let's go. If you want to see the full deck list, I'll have it at the end of the video. But generally, I'm trying to figure out the combos with this. Is it a better target for D.Va than Prince's? Because Prince is a pretty good target. Our opponent's searching for Dark Magician. Get a nice little foil Dark Magician there. Using Magician Souls. They're going to summon a level 6 XC. Once per turn can negate a spell trap activation. I don't know how strong that is. Against Runix would be pretty good, but we're going to play a lot of monsters. Opponent got the max C. We got options. We got options on options. Let's Ash Blossom the max C rather than use Call By. Save Call By for later. Opponent's max C is negated. Let's get Prince here. We'll save the Yamato for later. 
you got to run a comparison. Now, the problem with Yamato in this situation is if our opponent, uh, opponent can negate, and if they negate our flashing fire, we won't be able to do anything with a Yamato and a Deep Sea Diva on field. So that's the reason we got Prince here. You gotta, you gotta pay attention. That was also the reason we didn't use the call by to negate that Max C. Uh, get to take a look at our opponent's hand. We know they have Dark Magician. Their other card was Dark Burning Magic. If you control monsters whose original names are Dark Magician, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. So uh, we're gonna let them keep this and just get rid of the Dark Magician they have in hand. Probably not the correct play. But it is a fun play. Ferte gonna get us exactly five water monsters in the graveyard. Make him discard that Dark Magician. Dark Magician is in the graveyard. Let's attack over the Naruto to get rid of their negates. And now we can activate our Runics, we can activate our Call by the Grave. So let's set those and pass back to the opponent and see what they got. And I am a complete scrub and I forgot to activate Verte to summon DP. So I am just sleeping on the job right now. That was what I was supposed to do here. Opponent gonna set a card face down. Passing back to us. We're gonna activate the Verte. Again, making another mistake. I forgot to do it. I should have summoned the Deep Sea Deep first. We're gonna make the DPE. Summon the DP on the field. Now we can pop. Pop that back row. It was a solemn judgment. Opponent not able to solemn. Not able to solemn the uh, the activation of our snake because snake is an effect and solemn only negates summons or spell trap card activations, not monster effects. Let's get in with the DPE, get in with the Mullen Glacia, get in with the Deep Sea Diva that we normal summon, forgetting that we can't do any more special summons after activating <laughs> after activating Fusion Destiny. And I don't know if I was drunk, I was sleepy, I don't know if my glasses weren't on, I was tired. You got excuses for this because that was some sloppy play but opponent doesn't care they're conceding all right not a great showing for yamato because he was completely useless in that game we didn't even get to play him let's try another one opponent is going first setting a lot of back row playing labyrinth well let's let's try this out because we got a pretty solid hand here two runic spells one of them being runic tip is very strong and we got deep sea diva so let's start with the diva even at fusion destiny opponent is going to welcome labyrinth we can ash it, so we are going to. Stop him from special summoning. It also negates the effect of the field spell that would additionally destroy a card. So we're gonna chain our runic tip. Just get this out of the way. Search for destruction. Let us pop a field spell. Let us pop a back row if we want. Also let us pop floodgates. Search for the Yamato, and now we're gonna go for it. We are gonna go for it. Special summon the Huggin. We're going to discard this call by since it seems like opponent doesn't have anything going on to get the field spell and now we're going to do that synchro summon using the yamato make a level 10 baron de fleur and that seems pretty sweet i gotta say normal summon this plus the huggin just makes a level 10 synchro i mean that seems strong that seems good that seems powerful let's activate the fountain pop the field spell with the baron activate the destruction pop another piece of back row it was another welcome labyrinth luckily that is once per turn we're gonna draw three cards and opponent doesn't want to see it they are out of here all right well that was a pretty strong showing for that little octopus so let's go on to the next game all right another hand another abyss megalo well i cut him after the after the end of all these games because he was uh not being very good he was taking up a lot of deck space and not doing a lot of work so let's call by and negate this maxi and we discarded two pretty good cards, Heavy Infantry, Mullen Glacia, uh, and we're going to make a Fist Megalo on the field, and we can Normal Summon Ash, and we can either do a level 10 or we could go into DPE. So we are going to go into DPE here, and the reason, now this is the other reason I'm cutting this, this guy, because if we just had two heavies, you could just Normal Heavy, Normal the second heavy, and then do DPE uh, through Verte, and I would not use so many cards. We used one, two, three, four cards to make this to make this verte. That is negative card advantage. That is not ideal. Might as well just you know discard half our hand at the beginning of the game. Opponent is playing a very strong deck. Very strong. 
opponents playing live twins. Evil live twins. They are going to do their live twin combo. Uh, I don't know where you're supposed to interrupt them. This felt like a good place, but they always have some way to extend. So they just get their little double XC or double link play going on, where this one summons the other one, then this one summons the other one from the graveyard, and then they go into the the link four, and every turn they loop and pop and draw a card, and that is too much value for us. We're on the discard two cards at the beginning of our game plan. That is not enough to deal with full flower evil twins. We are going down to 500 life points. We're going to give us our best shot though. Oh, and I got the trouble, Sunny. They got two back row pieces. And every time we summon a monster, it's going to deal 200 damage to our life points. So that's one summon. Uh, opponent not even going to let us try and uh, synchro. They're going to immediately pop. Pop the Lapis Dragon. We could have made a level 8 synchro using the Denier. But this is still our standby phase. Opponents just popping stuff. They are not waiting around. Now we summon DP here. And DP is going to make us pay another 200 life points. And we got to we gotta pop now because if we summon anything else we die. That means DP would have killed us when he summoned himself on our turn. We're going to get the Denier. Denier can crash into one of these. But it doesn't really matter because they just resummon themselves every time one of them dies. Very powerful effect. Um, and it's very easy for our opponent to get lethal here. All they have to do is get rid of our DP. And opponent is going to start Wombo comboing. And we're out of here. There was no hope. This was not a great, not a great performance. But you know what? Sometimes you get bad hands. And if you take out the cards that you drew that were bad, then it can't happen again. Let's go on to the next game. All right, another good hand. We got the Runix. We got the Deep Sea Diva. Opponent going first. They are playing Sword Soul, but this is not a great Sword Soul start. Just going into the one level ten synchro. They're gonna try and Ashuna, probably get a level four from the deck and do more plays. So we are gonna Ash this. I mean, we got two Ash Blossoms, so why not? Negate the search of the Ashuna. Opponent going into a Supreme Sovereign. Happier to see that than Baronda Fleur. Baronda Fleur would have been pretty annoying in this situation, so. Alright, it's our turn. Let's try things out. Another Fusion Destiny, but this is a pretty cool hand. That we've had this hand before, and it's really good. Let's start with the Huggin. Huggin going to discard, and we are going to discard that second Ash Blossom. Because opponent would have maxied if they could have there. Let's Deep Sea Diva. Get the nice little Octopus. Make our own Supreme Sovereign. Supreme Sovereign, the out to Supreme Sovereign. Opponent going to negate the Supreme Sovereign here. Uh, that's fine, we don't care about that. But let's activate the Fountain. Special Summon the Runic Fangs, draw two. And unfortunately, we don't have a way to use our Gary right now, but we did just happen to draw Lapis Dragon. Lapis Dragon gonna give us an avenue to make a Ravenous Croco Dragon. This will draw us another card, giving us another Octopus. And let's make the DPE. Now, I did change the extra deck a little bit after this. You'll see I'm making changes. You always got to make changes to your deck uh, to, you know, fix things up. And one of the things I did was I added in another level 4 Synchro. I added in, uh, you saw in that first game, the level 4 Herald of the Arclight would give us a negate with Deep Sea Diva and a little uh, Runic Monster, the Runic Wings. Huggin plus Diva, level 4 is one negate. Also, all monsters that would be sent to the graveyard are banished instead. This is a nice little effect. Opponent got the right Geki. Now, we're just going to trade off our assets here. DP is going to pop himself. We're going to trigger their Supreme Sovereign. He's going to trigger. Ours is going to trigger as well. And we're going to get to banish a card from our opponent's field and their graveyard. They're going to get to banish a card from our field and graveyard. So that means these uh, Supreme Sovereigns are going to trade off. Opponent going for the Supreme Sovereign over the Runic Field spell likely. DP is going to summon himself back unless our opponent banishes it. So let's get banishing. Banish from the field and graveyard. Opponent going to banish. Banish from the field and graveyard hitting the DP. All right. So we traded. Opponent's got nothing. We got nothing. Except the Runic Field spell. And a nice little dasher. DP is a uh, final gift to us. 
let's summon the Denier, summon the Yoroshi, use him just as a normal to get a level 7, and he's boosting the attack points, very cool. Just use him as a level 1. Let's get another Orochi. Get the Baron de Fleur. Give ourselves a nice little negate. Uh, send this back to the extra deck. And unfortunately, I don't think I have another Huggin right now. Yeah, no Huggin, so we just got the Gary. I did put another Huggin into this deck, because that would have let us go back into the level 10, make another level 10. Pretty strong. The Octopus, pretty strong. I'm gonna be honest. He's been doing a good job. I want to send one back row. Draw another Deep Sea Diva. Let's just pop the back row first. Don't want any take any chances here. Sword Soul Strife. No one plays this. I don't know what it does. And it's not doing anything right now because it's popped. Deep Sea Diva should give us pretty fast lethal here. Summoning that heavy infantry. Let's use the Yamato. Make the Supreme Sovereign again. Summon the Abyss Dweller. And we gotta skip our battle phase. We gotta skip our battle phase, but that's fine. We got Negate. We got the Graveyard is turned off. Kona can't activate effects in the Graveyard. Deep Sea Diva is added to our hand. Opponent banishes a monster. We get to Supreme Sovereign it. Opponent summoning Fallen Albaz trying to fuse with our monsters. It's negated. Easy negate. Opponent's last card was the Sacred Summit, but there was nothing good in their graveyard to get. And this is easily lethal. All right. So very strong troll for the deck. Overall, Octopus, I give it 8 out of 10 because it's an Octopus. Uh, let's go on to the deck list and talk a little bit about what I ended up with. All right, so here is updated Splashstone Runix with Yamato. I keep calling him Yamato. Yamatako Orochi. Uh, we got one copy of Prince in here. Um, I, I wasn't sure whether you should include more copies of Prince, but the deck list is getting pretty clogged up. So you don't want to have too many targets. Also, Prince generally is the weakest normal summon the deck has. You generally want to be summoning Deep Sea Diva first. So. One Prince, triple Orochi, triple Diva. We got triple Heavy Infantry because Heavy Infantry plus Yamato is just normal summon make a uh, level 10 Synchro, which is pretty cool and uh, also quite strong. So that's why we got three Heavy Infantries in here. Triple Ash, one Deep Sea Minstrel, triple Dragoons, one Lapis Dragon, one Dasher, one Moulin Glacia. This is first part of the going first combo, Yadiva Prince. Uh, and you can make your opponent discard too with Mullen Glacia, as well as getting a nice little powerful monster on your field. We got Fusion Destiny, and for Runix, we got the Runic Fountain, double Call By, and then Triple Tip, Triple Flashing Fire, double Destruction, Triple Freezing Curses, one of the Slumber, one of the Smiting Storm, one of the Droplet. These are just there because, you know, you want different named Runic, runic spells. Uh, also, one of the Dispelling. Any extra deck? This is the thing I worked on the most for this deck list. I ended up with two Huggins. You really want Huggin quite a lot, because uh, Huggin plus Yamato is instant rank 10, or instant level 10 XZ. Level 10 Synchro. Get there eventually. All right, we got one Moonin, just to have a level three. Two dogs, dog is good. We got DPE, we got Tatsunoko, lets you Synchro using monsters in your hand. Also, an out outlet for, uh, for the Yamato. You can go heavy into Yamato, uh, into Tatsunoko and then use a monster in hand to synchro. We got Herald of the Arc Light. This is the one I brought in to use Diva with uh, Huggin to make a level 4. Deep Sea Prima Donna, very good with Runix. You're banishing stuff all the time. Very easy to just uh, unbanish a card that opponent doesn't care about, not gonna hurt you, and uh, search special summon a monster from your deck. Dragite, very good against spells. Kuroko Dragon, a level 9. Sometimes you have a level 9, you want a Kuroko Dragon. Baronda Fleur, Sword Soul, Supreme Sovereign. An Abyss Dweller, you saw it, use it at Z. Detach your Dragoons, search for Sea Serpent, and Predator Plant. All right, that's the deck list, hope you liked it. Let me know what you think of Yamato, if there's another deck that you can throw Yamato Co. in, the little octopus that could. I think he did a great, great job. All right, hope you liked the video, and I'll see you next time. Have a good night.